Well, now, over the last few weeks in Los Angeles, a trial has been taking place that's been watched with close attention, not to say anxiety, by the entire film industry, for whom the results could have enormous repercussions. In the dock are the director John Landis and four associates, all charged with the involuntary manslaughter four years ago of three actors, including Vic Morrow, in an accident that took place during the filming of Twilight Zone. What gives the case added impact is that Mr Landis is one of the most successful of the younger directors, including among his credits such films as An American Werewolf in London and Trading Places, as well as Michael Jackson's thriller video. The jury is expected to reach its verdict soon, but as Tom Brook reports, the case has already had a considerable impact on Hollywood. Videotape has recorded for posterity the events which unfolded at 2.20 in the morning on July the 23rd, 1982. Actor Vic Morrow and two children were taking part in the final moments of the Twilight Zone film. Explosions set off by special effects teams rocked a helicopter which hovered above. Then, suddenly, something went terribly wrong. An assistant cameraman on board the helicopter recounts how they were blasted out of the sky. The third blast blew our tail uh, prop off and uh, it was all over. We just started spinning and went around in circles about one and a half times or something and crashed into the riverbed. And on our way down is when we hit the actors. As the helicopter crashed, Vic Morrow and the two child actors were killed. At the time, the accident disturbed many in Hollywood, particularly because labor laws governing the employment of child actors appeared to have been so flagrantly violated. How two children could be working at 2.30 in the morning just blows my mind. And there were immediate calls from the film crew who'd been on board the downed helicopter for controls on the use of dangerous stunts. If this doesn't happen, then I think we should withhold our services until this is put into, put into place. I don't see how we can continue on this way. This must stop. Shortly after the victims were buried and well before director John Landis went on trial, the accident had prompted changes in the film industry. The state of California really strengthens, made stricter those regulations dealing with children in movies. In particular, um, how close a child can get to a dangerous situation, you know, whirling blades or explosions, things like that. Uh, the other big impact was the Directors Guild of America, which is the uh, director's union here in the States, has set up a safety committee that I've been told is partly um, a response to what happened in this film and the committee's looking at safety on the set, safety during a film production. I'm today. sorry, I think it's inappropriate for me at this time to say anything. Landis and four assistants finally went on trial in July, with the government charging that they did not take all reasonable precautions, but deliberately put the actors in a perilous situation. In his opening remarks, Landis's attorney said those killed in the accident and those on trial were quite simply the victims of fate. Unforeseen, unforeseeable, and even bizarre events combined to produce a very tragic accident. Indeed, the trial has been covered extensively on American television, in part because it's the first time ever that a movie director has been charged with a movie death. It's also brought into focus the extent to which a director can be held legally responsible for what happens on a film set during production. You have the prosecution trying to establish that experts on the set knew there was a problem and then communicated that to the director. They, they haven't quite got that link yet, but um, I think if, if they get it and then there's a guilty verdict, there'll be a lot of surprised people. Indeed, if Landis and his associates are found guilty, then almost everyone in the industry, including actors, believes it will bring about even more changes. If uh, they are found guilty, then God knows everybody else, the minute they approach a, a, a stunt in a film, they're going to be very, very careful about it, you know, and how they do it, uh, etc. I don't think that they'll shy away from doing uh, things that are necessarily dangerous. It's that they will be very careful how they do it and that everybody involved is, you know, a top professional in that particular field. Whatever did happen, and out of the horror of the, of the result, I can only hope that whether everybody is innocent or not or whatever, that at least on the plus side, it can make us more aware of what can happen. Film, making films can, can be very, very dangerous. There's no question of that. Dangerous, yes, but no film is worth the death of one person, let alone three.